I actually think it's been really helpful because, like, in our last course, I was, uh, call, I was like, oh, I'm not really fussed about money. And thinking about it is, I think it's just because I'm, like, still stressing about money. Like, I saw a pink umbrella for, like, $20 the other day in the city, and I was like, oh, but I have a $5 black umbrella in my bag. Like, I don't need that. And then when I was thinking about, like, my values and, like, I'm like, yeah, I would like to invest in more things, but I just feel like, oh, I don't I don't need that. So, because, I like, money has always been very scarce for me, so, like, I'm, mm-hmm. I've just been, like, Condition in my head to save, 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 which is great, especially considering my age. But, like, uh, I'm available so much. So, like, I, I prefer to just, you know, work and then be able to not worry because I feel very, like, stressed and, like, everything seems quite unpredictable at the moment because, like, what, well, like, last week I got, like, I, I made 6K and this week, like, I haven't even, I made, like, 1K maybe, if that. So it's just so unpredictable. Yeah, okay. Kind of sounds like through some of the stuff that you've been doing and certainly, like, answering the questions in the onboarding document, you know, it's often as well if we're not used to tracking our income, we don't really know how much we make. And my experience from myself and others is that we tend to overinflate what we make. And when we start to track it and write it down, we will see that, okay, because of the nature of the industry, the fact that we have to take time off sometimes, we don't get sick pay, that sort of stuff, that it evens out sometimes to be less than we thought and then that's when a bit of a kick goes like okay I could be making so much more is that kind of where your head's at yeah like I feel like I have so much more potential and I think it's just because everyone always tells me I'm rich like Mm. because my my apartment's like six hundred dollars per week right and like my my mum like before the day before she gets paid like she'll have 10 cents in her bank account you know so like it and then I was speaking to a family friend the other night and she's like, $600 per week is so expensive. And I was like, I don't know. Because I don't know what what's expensive. Because I've been doing sex work since I was 18 and managing my own finances. So I don't know what's expensive and what's not expensive anymore. And like what, like, you know, my peers would be making doing whatever they're doing, not sex work. Well, it's all relative, right? Like the reality is what you're making compared to some of those people that you're talking to is a lot. But then if we were to compare to, say, someone who's making 500 grand a year, that's probably not a lot. I think it really comes back to what quality of lifestyle do you want and why and are we on track to achieve that? And certainly the unpredictability in the income I think is something that a lot of us struggle with and it does create that financial stress that I'm kind of hearing a bit about like oh can I spend this $20 because what if I don't make anything this week and that does happen sometimes it does happen that we make next to nothing and then that's a bit scary no two escorts are the same we need to get good at implementing things and then using our own judgment and I'm that's part of what I want to do with everybody that I work with is to help learn how do we actually assess results in our business, ideally from a rational, calm state using data and using facts because it's easy to get kind of emotionally invested in stuff when it's us. If you want to learn more escorting tips, just click the link below this video.